How you doing everybody? This is Daniel from H the Reviews and right now we're gonna review one of the Saints. This is my last bowl saint to have to review, so I'm very happy. It took me two years and a half to get this saint. So here we have in front of us the Saint Seiya Myth Cloth and this is Libra Doku. So here we have Saint Seiya Myth Cloth Doku. Or Doku, however you want to call it. A lot of people have different ways to say it. But here we have the Myth Claw. This was made in 2005, so you know this already sucks. <laughs> Game over. I'm done. Let's go review something else. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to review this, uh, this figure. It's a 2005 figure, so don't expect a lot of it. You know, I'm just, I just got it because of my collection. You know, and this was the last one. And I saved this for last because I, I really didn't want it you know and um, yeah but I finally got it I, I decided to buy it so yeah so here we have the myth cloth uh, Libra Doku made in 2005 as you see a, a standard gold cloth uh, box who we haven't seen one of these in a while and we have the figure itself which you can see the face is horrendous and then we have the animated form which looks like badassery right there right and on the side of the box, it says a Satan Cloth Myth. On the bottom, it says Libra Cloth. And then we have um, the actual zodiac sign of Libra right there. On the back, it shows you everything that comes with it. It shows you the figure itself with the helmet or without the helmet. It shows you the figure itself doing some action poses. And they show you all the weaponry. They show you the object mode. And they show you all the weapons and the figure itself. So, th this figure... It's gonna be. I've never built a Libra figure before, and hopefully, it's not that complicated. It has a little bit of small pieces, and hopefully, I don't have to like uh, jump hoops and all that stuff. Uh, that's about it for the box. This is original, believe it or not. I don't know where the sticker is at, but uh, this is original. Let's go to the bottom. There we go. Here's the color graphic stickers. You can find it's original. Hawk comes from Hong Kong. And if we open the little bad boy right here. Oh man, I don't know if you can see it. So uh, we have the figure on the left. We have the armor on the right. And then it says Gold Saint on top. It says Doko on the bottom. Or Doku, however you want to call it. So yeah, that's about it for this figure. Uh, let's open and see the busters and see what we got inside. Here we have site number one. And as you can tell, um... It comes with two little things. Here we have side number one. We have all the hands, and we have the weapons right on this one. This goes on the bottom, and then over here, the top buster. We have the figure itself. We have chest, shoulders. You know the 2005 figures. They come in really big, bulky chunks, so it doesn't surprise me. Only thing that's surprising me is the color of the hands. But we'll get there in a little bit. And then um, over there on this side as well, we have the cape. Which the cape, I really am not gonna use it. I've never, uh, I really never cared for Doko having a cape. So, yeah. So that's side number one. Let's go with side number two. Side number two is very simple. As we could see, we have the actual more weapons over here. And then we have the object mode skeleton and the head of Dragon Shiru. If you want to put Dragon Shiru on this armor, we have the side skirts and stuff like that. So that's it for side number two. Everything looks kind of chaotic, but, uh, Let's go with the manual. So here we have the instruction manual. As you can see, it's a normal Saint Seiya 
Miss Claus manual. It has like a pink trim, I don't know why. And we see the, the zodiac sign of Libra right there, the Saint Seiya Myth Cloth logo. It was made in China, made by Bandai in 2005. As you open the booklet, you see right away the object mode of uh, Libra and a little profile of, of Doku right there. The twin rods, the spears, the triple rod, the tofar, the tumfar, the swords, all that good stuff. I don't know if you need to use all of this stuff for the figure itself, but we'll see in a little bit. Uh, if you open this side, it shows you how to do the object mode and the figure itself. So the figure itself is not that difficult. I think mostly the weapons is the ones that is kind of like putting me like super freaked out. <laughs> you know? And on this other side, it shows you the weapons and you can use them with the version 2 uh, figures for them to hold and stuff like that. So hopefully the weapons is just for that. I mean, I just want the object mode and I just want to be able to use the figures. So hopefully I don't have to use all this accessories. And that's about it. I mean, here's the back. That's about it for the manual. So let's build the object mode and see what we got. So here we have Libra Doku, and I have to say, it's a beautiful cloth, but there is a lot, a lot of issues that I have with this armor. First of all, we're going with the ankles. As you can see, the ankles are very fragile, and it's just a, like and that like notorious little hinge that is gonna move left and right. And the feet don't help. The feet are like very like narrow. So this thing has a lot of weight issues and you have to balance it really, really good for this figure to actually uh, stand up by itself. Uh, I recommend a base. If you have a, a, one of those stands for the Saint Seiya cloth, it's great. Second of all, if I put one of these uh, shields on the shoulders, it kind of has more weight issues. So I, what I actually did is put the two shields on the two arms which is just a little like a little socket comes out and then you could plug it in like if you could see it back there I, I don't know if you can let me zoom it in Wow. I mean there is a little plug back there as you could see it that you could plug it in and I mean it's very stable but this part right here in the middle is gonna be scraping the middle part of the arm which is um, not very nice. I mean, you have to keep in touch with the thing. The actual armor looks fantastic. Uh, it looks really pretty. It's just that I have to have them like in a weird pose for it to look like normal. And then the hands. The hands, you could tell right away. I don't know if, it, if it's my copy. 
I think my copy is old. It's a new copy, but I think it's old, and I think that the paint actually fell off. So uh, I, I think that's the issue. I, I'll just repaint it, probably get a paint from like Hobby Lobby or something like that. But, you know, let's be real, the hands had another color anyways. And then you have the little, um, like the little weapons and things that you could put like on the pockets right here. And as you could tell, the, this plastic right here used to be gold. So now it's kind of gray. So you could see. So, uh, I mean, the years took its toll on this. I mean, the metal parts are still metal. I mean, they still look chrome, but I think the plastic looking gold, uh, as you could see right there, instability, you could see the feet right there. I mean, the gold, the metal parts look gold like right now. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that's the instability of this figure. It's very unstable, and the feet are very unstable as well. So it's, it's really finicky. You have to really play with it. You know, for you could actually stand them up. But if you don't want to take the risk, just put them on a stand, and that's the end of it. You know. So uh, it also has a little weapons on the back here on the arms. Same thing, just a little bit smaller. So what's metal? What's plastic? Both shoulders are metal. Chest is metal. All arms are metal. The shields is metal with plastic. The middle part is metal. The outside skirt is plastic. The little things right here on the back are metal. The thing that's supporting those uh, little chucks on the back are plastic. Uh, this rod is metal, believe it or not. All the legs is metal. The the little ornaments that go on the pockets, plastic, and the feet are always die cast metal. So yeah, not a bad little figure, but you're gonna have a lot of uh, issues if you're gonna put them in this form. If you're gonna put them in a normal myth cloth. Uh, armor like most uh, collectors do and don't put them like this then you're not gonna have a lot of issues because the object mode was really well and very stable so yeah um, that's it I mean I'm not gonna mess with it a lot it's very finicky I just don't want to deal with it so let's go on my final thoughts here are my final thoughts of the Saint Seiya Myth Cloth and this is Libra Doku and I have to say it's a really good figure for 2005, depending on the standard. I mean, if I reviewed this figure in 2005, I would have been in love with it. It still has a lot of issues. has a lot of weight issues. Probably want to reinforce those ankles as soon as possible if you're going to uh, display them. Standing form, I'm going to display them in this object mode, and that's the end. That's the bottom line, and that's how it's going to stay. And um, this figure has a lot, of, a lot of issues. A lot of issues on those ankles. Those ankles are the worst. So like if you want to fix it, you want to reinforce those ankles, I mean something hard because this figure is kind of heavy. And it's a lot of metal. I mean not all cloths, you know, have metal like this figure, you know. So this figure is really, really beefy, really big, really heavy. But this figure is good. I mean for this time it's really good. I give this figure a 7 out of 10. You know, time took its toll on this figure, the, the, time, the cutter came off, all the good stuff, you know. And the weight issue, I, I think the weight issue would have been there since 2005 or to now, you know. That weight issue is going to go like that. Hopefully the EX figure is going to be better than this one. But this figure, I mean, if you, like me, this was my last figure I needed for my gold sink collection. If you need it like a last resort, that's cool, you know. Uh, more power to you, go get it, you know. But, I mean, if you're just going to buy it, I mean, you better be a really good fan of the figure. Or, you just, uh, I don't know. I mean, you just have to have really a lot of love for this figure. So you could get this at iShop to go. iShop to go has this and even more. You could get your figures of Sin Seiya. And there, right there at iShop to go. So hopefully you like the review. I know it's a little bit of bias. I didn't show the weapons because the weapons, we've seen them before. I mean, I showed you on the other reviews, like, the the weapons individually, for you could put them on your version 2s. I mean, that's not really a big deal. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, this has been that information reviews, and I'll see you on the next Saint Seiya review.